Following yesterday's 20-point win over Penn State, the women's basketball team hosts Iowa at the Kohl Center at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. The Badgers then travel to Champaign to take on Illinois on Sunday at 2 p.m. Head coach Bobby Kelsey is here. We'll have some opening comments and take questions. Uh, we had a good game yesterday against Penn State. Uh, came out really strong and um, had some good, um, a lot of great things happen in the game, very positive. Um, so we're, we're very happy about the win yesterday, but we know these games come really fast. It's two or three days in a game. So you can't celebrate too long. You can't sulk too long. You got to get on to the next next opponent. So um, we did. We celebrated last night, and now we're working on uh, um, who we played again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're working on we're working on some things that Iowa does to to take you out of your game, to get you kind of off your your uh, rhythm. Um, they're a great team. They they're an NCAA team. Obviously, they lost a lot of players, but um, they still run great stuff. Uh, Lisa Bluter is a really good coach, so um, they're going to do the usual stuff: you know, shoot, drive to the basket, hope you foul them, and make their free throws and their three-point shots. So, I'll take questions if you have them. You know, at the start of the year, you were, had a kind of a minute count on Michaela. She's picking up her minutes and what have you. Can you tell she's kind of getting back to the form she was maybe a couple of years ago or no? Um, I've seen flashes of it. I won't say she's 100% back. Um, I think anytime you have an ACL like that and multiple ones, you know, this is her third one, um, it kind of puts your mind in a place where you just, you're still a little bit afraid. I, I, I don't know if she's... Um, she says she's not, but I've had two of them myself. So it's a little, it can be a little psychological. You got to get through that part of it. But I think as she plays and she sees that um, she can explode off her legs and, and get up and, and make change moves and things like that, um, she's getting more confident every day. So we, we're still pushing her to, to, to show 100% the old Mick. But, um, you know, it's a lot with these injuries. So. We're just hoping that she continues to uh, improve and show that she is a Big Big Ten player, uh, first team all Big Ten player. Bobby, what's the biggest difference between scoring 41 at Rutgers and scoring 82 yesterday? Obviously, you probably shot the ball a little bit better. But was there anything else besides that, or was it just we shot the ball better? Uh, we just shot the ball better. Uh, we executed a little bit better. Um, Rutgers is a very different team than Penn State, and Penn State's down some players. I mean, they. They have some kids sitting on the bench that, you know, for no other reason than being injured, they will be out there. Moore is really good. Civilian is good. Um, they had another post player that got hurt, Green. And then, unfortunately, the kid got hurt in our game, so I, I'm hoping she's okay. Um, but Rutgers, they, they have a different – they're a different beast. And they make you have to put it on the ground because they're very quick and athletic. Um, we did miss some people that were open. Um, I'm looking at the film. If you drive and they help, you got to be able to kick the ball out and, and hit shots. But we didn't hit them. We missed a lot of bunnies. I can I, I remember ten layups, total. You know that I saw. And it could have been more that we missed. I mean, just wide open. Marsha had one. Mick had one. I think Dakota had a couple. So just it, you're not running anything different. We run the same stuff. You have to execute and then finish. Um, I tell the kids, ex execution is not that you didn't run the play right, but executing all the way through is making the shot. You, you get the shot you want, and then all that's for naught if you miss a bunny underneath the basket. Andy? Bobby, how does your history of, of ACL injuries impact your judgment, your dealings with Michaela? Um, you know, it's something out of our control. It's not something that just happens to people that are not strong in their legs. You, you have football players tearing their ACL. An uh, NFL guy tore his the other day, and he's probably one of the best receivers in the NFL. So it, it's a hard injury. It's one that we don't really understand fully why it happens. Um, I know Penn State had three kids with ACLs, and they were all contact injuries. The ones I've seen in mine, nobody touched me. Uh, you know, I was running out, and – just turned wrong and the knee just went. So with Mick, we just, you know, we have a great strength coach in Renee, um, and she does a great job of making sure that their bodies are balanced as far as your core. It's a lot of science behind being strong just in general. And um, But when somebody has that kind of injury, you don't want to 
do too much to aggravate it. Um, but but her 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 balance is off in strength, and that's what they're trying to do is get that leg that um, is the one that she just recently repaired, get it on par with the other leg. Because sometimes it's imbalanced, and then now you're using one more than the other. And we all, we all know if you're right or left-handed, you're dominant on your legs too. So um, it's that's my little two cents. But hey, I'm not a you know I'm not an exercise science major person. So I don't know. Do you find yourself being more sympathetic? Do you find yourself being more accepting of what whatever her mindset is or might be right now? Um, in the beginning, yeah, but not now. I'm like, come on, Meg, come on now. Um, because she's been out there. I mean, this is our 14th, 15th game coming up. So we're past the point of, you know, kind of being scared. But again, I've had it, so and everybody's different. So, But I don't think that's her issue. I just think getting back in the flow, it, it takes a while. Um, and then when you have had multiple ones, it probably takes a little longer. But she's fine. She feels strong. I've, I've asked her uh, in the beginning, do you feel like your legs are kind of balanced out? And um, And we get reports from the trainer about, her numbers and things like that. So, but it's only much, only so much science can do. You just got to get out there and play. And uh, she's done that. And um, I think she's finishing a little bit better around the basket, making some stronger moves, catching the ball, going up strong. So, um, we 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 dependent on Mick. We got to have her out there, and she's got to be playing hard. Uh, Coach, just an update on Tessa and how much her presence has been missed. It has been missed. You know, Tessa doesn't score a whole bunch. But she does so, she's the glue kid. She's the kid that if somebody's in the wrong spot, she could be all clear across the court. She's yelling, hey, get over, you know, that kind of thing. Or um, she can hit shots, she screens, she, she guards the better offensive player on the other team. She's not afraid, she just, she just does a lot of things that maybe some of the younger ones aren't ready to, to do. And she's another guard sub. We need another guard sub. Um, so it, it's gonna be nice to have her back and get her back in the rotation. But it's given Kayla an opportunity to play more. It's given Shelly an opportunity to play more. Um, so they got experience now that maybe they would not have had if, if, if Tessa was still out there because you go with what you know as a coach. The young ones always say, well, coach, we don't get a chance because I don't know what you're going to do. You're probably going to throw it to the I, I don't know. So even though the older ones are making mistakes, they got more built up in the savings account. They can, they can withdraw some money. The young ones don't have nothing in there. It's, it's insufficient funds over there on their side. So when they I explain it to them, it's not that I want you out there. I just have to, you know, as I get you out there more, I can believe in crunch time when it's pressure that you can be out there. So I, I teased Kayla the other day. She, We were playing, uh, who I forget who we were playing recently, and they were going, Indiana, I think, and Kayla got the ball. Well, of course, you kind of want Nicole to have it because you know she can make free throws. And I said, Kayla, pass it. And she's like, Coach, I can make the free throws. I mean, she was really offended that I told her to pass the ball to Nicole. When she, you know, they found her, she felt like she believed she could go to the line and make them. So I love that about Kayla. Shelly, she's got ice water in her veins. This kid's out there in our Michigan State game. We really need a basket. She shoots a three, I mean, just as if she's a senior. So that, that bodes well for the future, that your two guards coming up, when your seniors leave, they have the experience and know-how to then help the freshmen that are going to be coming in next year. So it's nice. Uh, I'm, those two are really bright for us, real bright. Nicole's two points shy of 1,000 for her career. Did you see that from her when she stepped on campus here? You know what? I, I didn't know because when we got the job, they were seniors. So we, we kind of snatched her. I, I didn't know. I mean, I knew after the fact that she wanted to come to Wisconsin, but that's the Gatorade State Player of the Year. And you just get the job. You don't you don't know her very well. She doesn't know you. So for us to get Nicole to come, now knowing she wanted to come anyway, um, that's nice. And then, um, you know, she could always shoot in high school, always had a high motor. Nicole doesn't do anything slow. Sometimes that hurts her, like slow down. Um, but you'd rather them go fast because it's hard to speed kids up. When they slow, it just can't go fast. Um, so I kind of saw flashes of it. She's gotten a lot better with her shot, her range. Obviously, last year being the second in the country in, in three-point field goal percentage. But Nicole just is a worker. So it's not surprising. Um, but I'm happy that she's here to do it with us. And being from Wisconsin, you know, we want the Wisconsin kids to come. So Wisconsin kids, come on, you know. We, we, we need you. Um, 
But uh, to have her here and her family's close and she can showcase her skills. Maybe she didn't even believe she could be this good at this point, but she's a baller. She's a shooter. She she does everything. I mean, she's glue too. We need her. You shoot 66% yesterday from three-point range, tie a school record with 12 three-pointers. Is that Oh, is that a record? Yep. We seven that one. Yes. <laughs> Is that kind of be become an identity for this team as well, since you lead the Big Ten, actually, in conference-only games as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, no, we did it last year. We shot really good last year, but we did lose some seniors that were good shooters, Jackie being one of them, Anne Marie being another. Um, but we try to encourage the young ones, get in the gym. So I told Shelly, wherever Nicole is, that's where you are. Go with She is out on the court, you out there with her. Because – you know, it's an example of what you can do when you work and, and put in the time. Kayla, the same thing. Marsha, the same thing. Liz, the same thing. The young players, if you see somebody successful, go copy what they're doing. So it's just like coaches. We see a good play. You better believe I'm stealing it. It's a good play. I don't care if they came up with it. Nobody – Naismith did all the work. He invented basketball, you know, Pete Carrill, all the old heads. They did it all for us. All we got to do now is just copy it. So – um we just try to encourage them to really work on their shot. Kayla was not a shooter coming out of high school. She played the post, but now she's doing step back threes. Now, I don't like to see them all that much, but she's proven she can shoot them, so we kind of let her do it every now and again. But you just try to encourage them um, to improve, improve, improve. That's, that's what our, our motto is here. You come in one way, you won't leave the same. You're going to improve. Speaking of somebody who wasn't a shooter, Dakota, out of high school, she was definitely not a shooter. No. Yesterday, she goes, <laughs> no. she goes five of seven from three-point range. Yeah, what has been the change in her? You know, I, I, t I t said yesterday in my press conference, um, Dakota, when she first got here and was shooting, you, you thought you needed eye protection because the lights were going to be shattered because her shot was so high and so crazy. And not, no offense to our coaches in Canada, but it was not pretty. Um, but to her credit, she worked on it, and so now. She has three phases to her game. So all young players need to have a finish game at the basket, a pull-up game, and then a three-point game. Dakota has all three, and her handles are tight. So if you come up on her, she's going to go by. If you don't, she's, if she's on, she's going to hit it. If you back up and she's backing you up, she can pull up. Now we're just trying to get her to be a playmaker now. So yesterday she had seven assists. So that's like add 14 more points if it's just twos. Because you can't get an assist unless somebody scores. So I try to get them to think, get an assist. That means you got two points. You have to look at it that way. Otherwise, you're just so worried about scoring, you're not dishing the ball and you're taking bad shots and things of that nature. So I think Nicole had nine, she had seven. So we had 22 for the game. So when you're scoring and you're assisting, now, now what is the other team going to do? They got to pick somebody to leave. And if you're shooting well, you're just going to make it. So we try to do that every game because it, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Anything else for Coach? No. That's the most questions I've ever gotten. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Nicole, is obviously, she knows she's two points away probably. She's known for a while. She's close. Have you seen a change in her game, or she just continued to take care of business? Oh, no, Nicole doesn't care about that stuff. Um, and I wasn't going to put her in when we up 20 and just so she can turn her ankle and then I look stupid. And y'all asking me, why was she in the game? And I'm, you know, so she'll get it. She'll score two more points this year. Um, it, it'll be all right. Um, and people, she was up at the scores table too. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Because I could just see something happening. You know, just trying. But Nicole doesn't care about it. It's a great accomplishment. Anybody that gets 1,000 points in college, that means you have done good work to, to get yourself to that point. But she wants our team to win. So if she had, you know, 800 points, she wouldn't care. If, did we win or lose? That's what she cares about. And um, that's a good thing to have your best player, one of your best players, care more about us winning and losing than points. But she, I don't know if she even knew. I don't, I don't know if she did or not. I didn't know. But we don't get into stuff like that. We just, if they tell us, great. If they don't, you know, whatever. You know, we just try to play to win the game. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.